Hello guys and welcome to the Beyond Sundance channel. Today we're gonna take a look into the ring heroes of Battle for Middle-earth 2 in the patch 1.09 beta. Uh, just a quick information, I was chasing Gollum by the way with Eomer, Eowyn and Faramir for the past 10 minutes. You know, a lot of towers were shooting him down but he's so tanky and very very hard to take down. After so many minutes I was finally able to kill him now we're gonna capture the ring with Faramir. The then we need to right click on the fortress. So Faramir is gonna bring the fortress, uh, bring the ring to the fortress. We are playing the Man of the West faction, obviously. The and there we go. And now we will be able to recruit Galadriel for 10,000 resources. But what I wanna see is I wanna see if the banner carry upgrade on the fortress work, works also on Galadriel. And if we can manage to get her 10% faster on the field, and I think um, also 10% cheaper. So she needs to cost now less and has to come out faster. Yeah, indeed. So that's actually quite worth it, if you ask me. Especially when you are recruiting those expensive heroes like Gandalf or Galadriel, obviously, or Aragorn. And the 10% from the Benakiri upgrade on the Fortress is gonna pay off every single penny okay so i'm gonna pause the video here guys and we will be back once galadriel is gonna join the battlefield the day of the orcs is gone the time of the elven queen galadriel has come guys and there she comes galadriel and she's looking pretty mad to me and that's the elf, that's the ring hero for the a good factions for men of the west elves and also dwarves obviously and let's take a look into her abilities right so we have the battle stance obviously like with any other units in battle for middle earth 2 but also in rise of the witch king then we have the light of galadriel heals all allied units and heroes in a la large circle around let's see the circle so quite actually not bad at all that's an ability, by the way, that does not exist in Rise of the Witch King. And the animations of, Rise of Battle for Middle-earth 2 are next level anyway. Then we have the Tornado. You can try to summon that. A Tornado, just like from um, Elrond, you can micro around with. And actually knock up all the enemy units all the time. Then we have uh, the Nenya. Nenya ends out a shockwave that, that destroys surrounding enemies. And we can actually look to try that. That's why I also didn't kill the war players. I would like to see how much damage this is gonna deal to the war player. And after we are done with Galadriel, we will be taking a look into the evil ring hero. Oh, wait a second. The works are dying to the towers. Oh, no. <laughs> Alright, we need to move to the troll layer in this case. Into the evil ring hero, Sauron himself. After we are done with Galadriel. And we are not done yet. So we were able to see the healing in the tornado. Which is still active by the way. The time remaining is going down quite slow. And now we will be using the Nenya. Uh, right. Yeah, let's see. And that's like... Uh, ooh, that's like next level word of power though. And she's also look how much damage she was able to this um, she was able to deal to the structure. Cast it down. Everything is getting one shotted right away from her, enemy. and she's very very impressively strong. But again, like I said at the beginning of the video, it's really difficult, guys. Don't underestimate Gollum. I spent more than 15 minutes chasing him down in order to take him down, and he's getting still after all the time, which is really annoying to deal with. Okay, the next ability: summon eagle allies. Summons giant eagles. With eagles, is she's summoning three eagles at the same time and they're automatically attacking. Hold on, hold on. I want you to attack the work layer right here. Because I want to use my ability, my last ability on the work layer here at the top left side. So you are able to summon three giant eagles. Holy guacamole. Beautiful. And, you know, they are obviously not permanent, that would be kinda super broken, I think it's broken and overpowered anyway, but she costs 10,000 and you need to kill an unkillable golem first before you can actually recruit her, 
and a lot of time and money has to be spent obviously okay and the last ability from galadriel is the light of valars call down the light of valar onto your enemies deals massive damage in a large area oh wait a second so it's not you can't target it so it's i think around on top of galadriel itself i'm actually curious Oh, that looks dope. That looks dope. I can see you actually entering the enemy enemy lines. Tanking. I mean, she's also quite tanky, by the way. Forgot to mention that one. I can just show you guys how tanky she is. I'm not going to waste time and walk all the way to the bottom left side. We're going to go to the work layer and try to face tank the works for, for a little bit. Just to see how tanky she is. I mean, she has 5,000 health. Nothing too crazy, because Gandalf with one level 1 has also 4,300 health, but I'm pretty sure she's also quite tanky. Let's see. I mean, she's obviously, uh, yeah. She can also heal herself, I'm assuming. We're gonna actually check that out as well. And this has a really low cooldown. I mean, the works are not even hurting us. So she's gonna auto-attack. I'm pressing S all the time on my keyboard, so actually, stop. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the knockback is real. Look, the work, <laughs> the work is literally there. I want to. Oh, I have to see that, boys. I have to see that. I want to see if she's able to knock back the troll as well, like she did with the works. One shot them, but not only that. For the style point, she was able to knock them back to the next map. The Forts of Eisen. That's Forts of Limelight, by the way. This map, which is a reskin uh, for Forts of Eisen. And she was kicking the works to the original Forts of Eisen map. Okay, I wanna first of all tank. I'm, I'm spamming my S, key, S button on my keyboard. So she's quite tanky. She doesn't take too much damage. Let's try now. Let's hit back. Oh yeah, she's knocking him back. But she's two-shotting him. And attacking quite fast. I mean, her let, I wanna see now if I'm able to heal myself as well. Yes, she's healing herself as well with the light of Galadriel. Which, by the way, looks quite dope. And the Eagles are, you know, coming up quite fast as well. Nenya, which is something like Waterfowl from uh, Gandalf level 10. Okay, um, and her damage to the structures is also insane. Look at that. Like, almost two shot, Yeah, two-shotting. Not almost two-shotting. Two-shotting uh, work layer, a uh, troll layer. One-shotting the rubble. I mean, she's obviously not able to get any experience because she is coming out level 10. Anyway. Okay, guys, so we're gonna jump now next to... Uh, Sauron with the Moro faction. And ladies and gentlemen, there he is. The bad boy Sauron. The ruler of the rings. The master of the one ring. The one ring to destroy them all. And he's, he's wearing the one ring. And I, I like the animations. I like the graphics from Battle for Middle Earth 2. We are also using the HD edition. So Balrog, I mean not Balrog, but Balrog also. We're gonna we're gonna talk about it later. Um, Sauron is looking pretty dope to me. Okay, so battle stances just like Galadriel, nothing to spice, nothing to spicy, nothing too crazy. Aggressive stance is maximizing the damage output, makes you more squishy. Uh, the hold ground stance makes you more tanky, but makes you deal less damage. And then um, the Battle stance, normal, is like the normal stats. Movement speed, he's not the fastest hero. Um, he's quite slow. And then we have a summon Balrog. Yeah, you heard it right. <laughs> you are able to literally summon Balrog with this bad boy. And we're gonna try Balrog out right there. Summon him. Oh yeah, look at this, look at this. Oof, that looks so nice. Wait a second. Two Balrogs at the same time. Holy guacamole. Can you fly with them at the same time? Yes, you you can't. You can't. You can't. So they are not working like a normal unit. They are obviously heroes, right? But I, I'm actually curious. Wait a second. Wait a second. So, R, R. Let's see if they can kill each other. No, they can't. But nice try. So friendly fire Balrog against Balrog does not work. To be honest with you, that's the first time I'm controlling two Balrogs at the same time. They all know how devastating they can be. One of them. 
Um, but yeah. Let's fly. Fly to the sky, Balrogs. Oh, that looks so nice. Holy moly, boys. Then we're gonna use the Ignite to make them stronger. That's gonna increase the double the damage. And you get also 50% increased armor. We can use Screech also. Just why not? Screech. Yeah, I mean, obviously Balrog is the same. You have the Ignite, you have the Fire Whip, you have the Scream, you have the Breath Fire, and you have the Wings to fly. But is are we done with, <laughs> with Sauron? Hell no. We are not done yet, boys. So you have Fires of Doom. Calls down many molten rocks in an area around Sauron. So I think it's similar to the Light of Valars from Galadriel, remember? When, you know, the light was kind of raining down, damaging the enemies around. And we're gonna... It's not castable, so you can't click and cast it. It's gonna always drop on top of Sauron, I'm assuming. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna move to the trolley at the bottom left side. And we are going to use the Fires of Doom ability from Sauron, the Dark Lord. Let's do it. So you cast it, and he's making the animation. Troll is trying his hardest. And look at that. Look at the Devist. Oh, look at the animations. That looks... Oh, you have to leave a like on this video alone because of the explosion. And we are not done yet. It's, it's, it's happening. It's spamming. It's not done yet. Look at that. Everything is gone. Like, the inn even got destroyed at the bottom left side. That's crazy. That's crazy. This guy is badass. I would say, I think he's more powerful. I, I'm, I've i never seen them before. That's the first time, literally, that I see them. I've seen them a couple of times in Rise of the Witch King, but not in Battle for Middle-earth 2, patch 1.09 beta. But just my feeling from the first impressions is that Sauron is way stronger than Galadriel. I mean, I can't... Uh, maybe if you guys want to see, we can make them fight 1v1. I don't even know if this is possible, because there can be only one ring. So I'm assuming it's not going to be possible to get them both at the same time on the field. But alone the devastating devastation power from uh, Sauron with this ability and the fact that you are able to summon two Balrogs. Yeah, I mean, technically with Galadriel, you are also able to summon three Eagles. But two Balrogs, you know what I'm saying? Like, they have Breath Fire and that's going to deal area of effect damage, which can literally, you know, destroy every building within a second. But we are not done yet, so we have to... Uh, fury causes um, fear in in um, Norway enemies. Does it also work on the work layer? I mean, on the works? No, it doesn't. But the animations are pretty nice. So you have little cast time. Um, after casting an ability, you are not able to move for a single second or two seconds. I mean, obviously, this is single player. We have no lags, no delays. But in multiplayer, I think it's gonna cause you more more delays with the abilities. And then we have Wards of Power. <laughs> I mean, it's not limited to Gandalf, I guess. Wards of Power sends out, sends out a shockwave that kills surrounding enemies. I would love to see that animation. I think it's similar to the Nenya ability from Galadriel. So we shall see. Wards of Power, the shortcut is B. We're gonna use it. Oof. Dude. The works. Look at that. If... This is literally, he was literally flying to the next map. I'm curious now how much... And then we have, we are not done yet, we have also the Ring of Power. Summons Sauron creates an influx, influx of shadow and flame, constantly damages surrounding enemies. And you know what we need, what we're gonna do? We're gonna... And we can even summon Balrogs once again. That's pretty dope. And I think he has also 11,000 health. Remember Galadriel had 5,000 health. And by the way, for some reason, I don't even have the ring yet. I literally started the map with Moro Faction and got to use Sauron from the beginning. So I don't know what's going on, if this is a bug or not. I can't tell. But I'm happy because I didn't have to waste a lot of time, like, before searching for Gollum. Trying to kill Gollum, which, by the way, again, is very, very challenging. So we're gonna now use the Ring of Power. The Eye of Sauron animation. Oof, the animations though. Get the animations, boys. 
don't see anything. Oh, I love the animations. I mean, whoever made the animations for Battle for Middle Earth 2, damn, you are good, son. You are good. It's not stopping. It's crazy. Look at that. I mean, look at the animation. And the lair, but also the rubble is gone because it damages constantly. I think that's the ultimate ability, but every ability besides the Fury one, I think is like game changing. You are able to summon two Balrogs, you are able to make it do rain magmas, you are able to, you know, use pretty much the improved version of the Water of Power from Gandalf level 10. And then you are also able to use the Ring of Power, and we have seen already what happens if you do. Alright, for the final of this video, we're gonna summon the Balrogs, and I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. Balro um, I mean, Sauron, I think, is a little bit ahead in this uh, compare video of us for Battle for Middle Earth. So let me know your opinions in the comment section below. And as we're gonna call the Balrogs, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like on this video. I see you next time. Take care of yourselves, and as always, stay beyond standards. Peace, boys.